Chapter 13 Out of Time Manuel's focus followed Yuya's NSX move for move as they sped through the back streets of Tokyo to the docks. Yuya really had the hammer down, so to speak. Even with his new twin turbo V6 custom engine, Manuel could still keep up thanks to his racing V8 camera. Akio and Takumi trailed along back, but not by much, as there was a lot of aggressive acceleration and braking. After what seemed like 12 blocks through the city streets, they arrived at the dock area. They sped down through the docks and around the warehouses to the pier, where they stopped. Yuya got out and was shocked at how fast the tide had risen. Oh no, oh no, oh no! He repeated nervously. He, Manuel, and Spitfire ran to the docks and peeked under. Chained to the legs of one of the docks was Throttle, Vinny, Moto, and Stoker. Their heads were barely above the water. They were at risk of going under as the waves splashed up against their faces. Crap! Manuel turned to Akio and Takami as they pulled up. Takami, you know where I keep this spare toolkit in the focus? Manuel hollered. Get it and bring it here ASAP! I need to go under and get them loose somehow! Takami and Akio were back in a flash with the toolkit. Be careful! Akio cautioned as Manuel opened the toolkit getting out some pliers. The tide could pull you out in the harbor if you're not careful. I'll keep that in mind. Yuya, if I need a tool, I'll surface and swim up to the dock. I'll tell you what I need, then you hand it to me. If I'm lucky, all I'll need are these pliers. Do you got it? I, I, yeah, got it. Yuya stammered, nervous, standing over the toolkit. Manuel then jumped off the side of the docks and into the water. He swam towards Stoker first, seeing he's the one that might need to get out first due to his age. He looked around and saw the lock. He inserted one of the pliers and started to try and pick the lock open. After a few tries and failures, he knew it wouldn't work with the flyers. He surfaced near the dock and saw the water had risen above their heads. Yuya! The pliers aren't working! Get me the hammer! He yelled. Yuya got the hammer from the toolkit and handed it to Manuel. Manuel then dove down again and swung the hammer at the chains with all the force he could muster. After a few hits, the chains broke, and Stoker was free. Manuel, gripping the hammer with one hand, tore the tape off of Stoker's mouth and helped him swim up from underneath the dock. They surfaced. Talk to me! Spitfire! I need a hand! Get this guy on the dock while I undo the next one! Takami and Spitfire helped Stoker up onto the pier as he coughed, gasping for air. <coughs> you, you gotta get Carvine and Charlie! <coughs> Stoker said between coughs and trying to breathe. Where are they? Takami asked, as Manuel came back up with Moto, who coughed when he was on the pier. Uh, they're back at the estate! And Father locked them in a garden shed in the backyard! Yuya said. Manuel then came back up with a coughing Vinny moments later. One more! He said, diving down again. After a few agonizing moments, he was back up with an unconscious throttle. When Takami and Spitfire lay throttled down on the pier, Manuel then noticed that he wasn't breathing. Oh god, no! Manuel scrambled out of the water and was at Throttle's side in a flash. Manuel shook his body, tearing the duct tape off his mouth. Throttle, wake up! Damn it, don't do this to me! Damn it! Takami cursed. Akio, go with Yuya and get Charlie Carwin on that device! Manuel, open his mouth so he can get air! I need you to administer CPR! Everyone did as they were told. Akio and Yuya were back in their cars and peeling out of the docking area. Takami had opened Throttle's mouth, tilting his head to the side, and Manuel had started chest compressions. Breathe, damn it! Breathe! Manuel said as he administered CPR to Throttle. As he pushed down on Throttle's chest, he still couldn't get a pulse. This was not good. Were his lungs submerged in liquid? Oh, come on, Throttle, breathe! Manuel snapped, starting to cry. You can't die! Not like this! Throttle opened his eyes to see a white light around him. Then he was back at the pier he had been chained to. Only this time, he was standing on it. 
Moto, Stoker, and Vinny were on their knees looking over a body. His body. They were trying to see what was going on with him on the pier. He was looking at his own body watching Manuel give him CPR. Manuel? He spoke. Moto? Vincent? None of them seemed to hear. God damn it, Toto, breathe! Manuel snapped, tears falling from his cheeks. Come on, damn it! Manuel, I'm right here. He went to put his hand on Manuel's shoulder, only to find it pass through his body. He was stunned. <gasps> Whoa! What's going on? Throttle asked as he recoiled from Manuel. He then saw another light shine and a person emerge from it. It was Manuel's dead brother, Hector.